The art of photography is now almost 200 years old, and from pretty much the beginning people have wanted to take photographs of animals. The first animal photo is believed to have been of a cow back in 1842, but since 1906, National Geographic has been publishing photographs of the natural world in its wild state. Most animal photographers will tell you the secret is to be patient and wait for just the right moment to get a picture of the animal you are looking for. But sometimes wild animals can turn things around and give the photographer incredible surprise. From an overly friendly lion to the cheetah who wants to learn all about cameras. Here's 15 times wild animals surprised photographers. <laughs> Number 15. Lion out in the Okavango Delta in Botswana, your chances of getting a good shot of a wild lion are among the best in the world. And that is exactly what Earth Touch cameraman Graham Springer was hoping for when he made his way to the African country with hopes of capturing images of a pride of lions there. Springer managed to encounter the pride, who stood around long enough for him to get a few shots off before wandering away. All of them except one lioness, that is, who decided she wanted to check out the camera bag, and then the cameraman. After examining the bag, she turned to Graham and decided to give his crotch a sniff, which seems kinda rude. That lioness is in danger of becoming a Twitter hashtag, but like any normal cat, this lion got bored and wandered off to do her own thing quickly enough. Which must have been a pretty big relief to Graham, since this 300 pound lioness would have little trouble ripping him to tiny pieces if it felt like it, but Graham was able to make it through and presumably head home for a change of underwear. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. Here's something sent in to us by one of you guys, out camping with grandpa. After taking a quick bathroom break, our viewer managed to capture this insane encounter between Gramps and a huge male lion who had come to take a look, and it seems as though grandpa was a big game hunter. As we can see his rifle and camouflage gear right there in the shot. Maybe after all these years, the lions have had enough. And it's pretty understandable, so I guess none of us will be too happy to learn that the big bad hunter here was swallowed down in one bite. One strike for the lion team. As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Cheetah. The Maasai Mara is one of the most famous game reserves in the world. Named for the Maasai people, who traditionally inhabit the region, which is now part of Kenya, it is called one of the Seven Wonders of Africa, and the main reason for this is its incredible diversity of wildlife, especially the most charismatic animals that everyone wants to see, the big cats. Getting a photograph of a cheetah is a pure bucket list achievement. But this photographer was lucky enough to find a cheetah who was in love with with the camera and wanted to be photographed as much as any top model would, striking a pose on the wheel of the Jeep just wasn't enough though. This cat wanted a close up of extreme proportions and so decided to stick her face just inches from the camera. The photographer did not miss the opportunity, although he's going to need a wide-angle lens on this point-and-shoot from that distance. After a few shots, the cheetah decides it has had enough and climbs back down, not before reminding him to send the pics along to the cheetah modeling agency. Number 13. Leopard Cheetahs aren't the only big cats with spots in Africa, but their leopard cousins do not seem to be quite so enthusiastic about being photographed. About as enthusiastic as Alec Baldwin in front of the paparazzi. Anyway, this leopard is having a pretty bad day. A pack of wild dogs are tormenting him, and all the while he is being filmed by a BBC film crew. After the dogs have driven him crazy, he's forced to climb a tree to escape. In a classic cat and dog scene, just regular 
regular cats don't weigh 160 pounds. Are you ready to throw it at the leopard? If it's anyway, all wound up and feeling humiliated, the leopard then spots the jeep, containing the camera crew, and does not look happy about them being there. Clearly worried that his whole escapade is going to end up on TikTok, and with all his friends laughing at him, he throws himself out of the tree and goes on the attack, towards the jeep. This is pretty bad news for the film crew, but cameraman Richard Jones thinks even faster than the leopard can run, throwing his hat at the big cat as a distraction. This seems to cause the leopard to back off, and things are back to normal pretty quick, and he even manages to recover the hat. Number 12. Tiger you thought being attacked by a leopard was bad enough, right? Well, here's something even more terrifying. A tiger. The tiger is the biggest of the big cats, and one of the few species on Earth considered to be a predator of man, especially in parts of India and Bangladesh, like the Sunderbans. Out here, our world-class camera person uses the old put-your-fingers-over-the-lens trick to make everything even more scary. Gives it that kind of Blair Witch vibe, right? A few vehicles are out on the track, and and right in the middle is a big old tiger, just waiting along like he owns the place, because he kind of does own the place. And an open car tiger tour is about as safe as it sounds, because finally the tiger is like, get the hell off my road. Breaking into a jog is all the cat needs to do to cause everyone to freak out and panic, and the car races away. While the photographer continues their application to join the BBC Wildlife Department, with some awesome views of the car seat and the floor. Number 11. Wild Mountain Gorilla Uganda is one of the few places in the world where it is possible to encounter wild gorillas, and one gorilla trekker called John King of South Africa was preparing at base camp for a voyage into the jungle with the hopes of meeting some of these amazing animals. But he was much luckier than that, as the gorillas came down to meet him. Just outside the camp, an entire family of gorillas went right over to greet him, and John could do nothing but hold his camera and stay still as they got up close and personal. Oh, no way, John. No way. The rule is to crouch down and look into your hands, and this way the gorillas know you are not threatening them. So that's just what he did. The exchange between these two primates was pretty gentle, with both young and old gorillas coming to take a look at John, who was no doubt sweating a little bit. If he managed to upset the silverback somehow, it would have been pretty bad news, but the gorilla even wanted to groom him, which maybe suggests John ought to take more showers, but hey, what an amazing experience for this photographer. Number 10. Elk in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, a photographer set himself down at a safe distance, hoping to get some shots of the amazing elk living there. However, other visitors to the park have consistently broken rules about feeding the animals, and the elk have learned to approach people for food. This young bull seems to think he deserved a meal, and the photographer didn't have anything for him, so the elk laid down a challenge. Worrying that standing up might be a provocation, the photographer tried to protect his vitals and stay calm. Getting increasingly aggressive, this was turning into a pretty terrifying ordeal. A seasoned pro, this snapper still managed to get a couple of shots off, all the while the elk was trying to butt heads. Finally spotting a ranger arrive, the photographer stood up, and this seemed to make the elk think again about the duel. Bending your head down doesn't seem to be the best tactic, but in the end, no one was hurt, and the photographer with nerves of steel was even able to grab his bag back with a little help from a big Honda SUV. Number 9. Deer in one of the most epic human-animal battles captured on film, a white-tailed deer took exception to being filmed for a segment of the show, Kentucky Field, back in 1989, and decided to attack host David Shuffett. Host Shuffett 
was talking with biologist Lauren Schaff when the animal launched its offensive, right after having his close-up on camera. The TV host does a pretty impressive job at holding off the angry deer. Those horns are no joke. A park ranger named Johnny Widener at the Salado Wildlife Education Center where the incident happened was quick to help out, and the two men managed to subdue the animal at first while the biologist kinda waved a stick around, but this was one determined deer, and both the men were soon tiring as much as the deer. This tussle lasted an incredible 45 minutes before other rangers arrived and were able to get the deer under control and free the men from their epic struggle. And Widener was gored in the leg, which later required surgery. Still, this park ranger took the contest on like an MMA fighter. And our brave TV host fought like a champion against this angry young buck. Number 8. Polar Bear Filming polar bears has surely got to rank one of the riskiest jobs in all camera work. These huge bears are not to be underestimated. Closer and closer, look how close he is. Right there, so we're gonna have to get ready to start the skidoos and get out of here. Most animal species seem to have an instinctive fear of humans that keeps them at distance, but not these bears. And this particular individual seems not to be even afraid of our machines, confidently striding up to check out the crew's gear, and barely flinching when a noisy snowmobile is revved up next to him in an attempt to scare him off. The crew holds their ground and shows no fear, even when the bear makes it to around 30 feet. And this kind of courage is what makes the BBC the masters of nature documentary filming. The polar bear was probably just hungry for some human snacks, or maybe a classic bottle of Coca-Cola. Do they still drink that? Eventually, the snowmobile is enough to send him running off again, but who else thought for a moment he might jump on the spare snowmobile and start chasing? Just me. Oh, uh, okay then. Number 7. Meerkats Back in Botswana, and for once we're not facing down a massive predator but a friendly group of meerkats. Meerkats are famous for their ability to stand up on their hind legs and take a look around, either for prey or for predators, before bobbing back down again in a pretty amusing way. But as with all lookout duties, the higher the better, and when a meerkat spotted a wildlife photographer at work, he was quick to figure out that there was an opportunity for a great view of the surroundings. If he climbed on the photographer's head, that is, Wilbur Art Lucas brought a pretty massive lens along with him in the hope he'd be able to get some close-ups of his favorite animals, the meerkats. But he probably could have stuck with a more conventional 35mm length and got plenty close enough since these cute little guys were literally climbing all over his camera and his head. Meerkats are a kind of mongoose native to southern Africa and are known for being tame and friendly to people. And from these images, there's no denying it. Number 6. Shark Cage diving is a thrill-seeking pastime that has attracted a lot of controversy in recent years. Some experts suggest that the huge numbers of people cage diving with great white sharks is causing them to lose their natural fear of humans and boats, and that is leading to more attacks on both bathers and boats. These two guys were out in a small boat for the Discovery Channel, trying to attach a camera to the fin of a great white. When the big shark decided it, it, you know, it wasn't in the mood for being turned into a living camera dolly, and it began to try and bite through the rope, attaching the smaller boat to the bigger boat, which could have led to capsizing. This is how smart Great Whites can be. And there's no doubt these two were getting pretty nervous during this attack. A voice can be heard saying, I don't think this is such a brilliant effing idea, you know? Which, yeah, it's definitely not on the list of the most brilliant ideas ever. Small boat, big shark, soft human flesh, giant razor sharp teeth. Do I need to say any more? This shark chewed as much as it could at the rope. But luckily, the rope held firm. They're not malicious, but they do kill things for a living, says one of the guys. And that sounds about right. Number 5. Rhino You see, there's a theme developing here. There's some animals that love being photographed, and there's some that really don't. Guess what? 
This rhino wasn't super into it. These photographers parked up to get a few shots of this black rhino from pretty up close. But it turned out to be way too close as the rhino decided to give his best Sean Penn impression and make a charge. Shot by visitors to South Africa's Kruger Park, this footage shows just how terrifying a rhino charge can be. At first, the photographers seem not to be too worried about the massive animal barreling towards them, but when the rhino shows no signs of slowing up, the panic begins to set in. They jump to opposite sides of the car in an attempt to avoid the impact. And a rhino is more than capable of tossing a car up on its roof over and over. These walking tanks are immensely strong. The clip ends with a terrifying thump, which is when the rhino impacts the door. But all reports suggest that the men were fine, but maybe these guys really could do with longer lenses and maybe a mile of distance between them and the angry rhinos next time. Number 4. Crocodile this heavy tattooed photographer certainly looks the part of the tough guy, but does he know how crocodiles work? As in, they specialize in eating things which hang around on riverbanks by launching themselves ferociously out of the water, then dragging the prey into the death roll, then tearing it to pieces for dinner? Apparently not. And the people with him are even trying to warn him, until he tells them to shush. Brave, crazy, or plain stupid, I'll let you decide. But while this Costa Rican is setting up for the Insta post of the year, he's caught unawares while gesturing to his buddies, and the croc knows just when to take advantage of a moment's lapse of concentration in its prey. This guy might have spent a couple of years training as a photographer, but crocs have spent 200 million years training as killing machines. Antonio, as it seems he is called, almost qualified for a gold medal at the Darwin Awards. Better luck next year, Tony. Number 3. Elephant Here's one crazy lucky photographer trying to get the perfect shot of the biggest land animal of them all. He is standing out on a path trying to get just close enough to a massive elephant. The elephant decides that this is not cool, and so goes on a charge right up to the man who is clearly some kind of elephant Jedi, just waving a hand and sending the elephant running back the other way. What is this magic? The dude doesn't even look bothered, even turning to give a smile to the guy running video behind. This has to be considered a lucky escape, because elephants can be seriously dangerous to people when people get too close to them. Some countries like Sri Lanka have some pretty serious numbers when it comes to elephant attacks. With around 70 people killed every year, and 250 elephants in a battle that has continued across history. And the guy in this video was pretty lucky not to count himself among them. Number 2. Kangaroo here we go again with another animal that seems like it's all fun and games, until… did you just take my photograph? And then suddenly it goes all Kanye! At a nature reserve, these kangaroos are supposed to be tame and used to people, but this one certainly didn't like the red-haired kid taking his photograph. He went in for a brawl and then turned against the whole group, kicking, wrestling, and biting all three of the onlookers, caught in the most up-close manner possible by the camera phones, videoing the incident. The young girl doesn't seem too afraid and she even gives the naughty ruse arm a tap, which is the trigger for a headbutt and a powerful left hook to the person filming. Luckily, this was not a six-foot-tall adult male, otherwise we'd have had teenager alphabetty spaghetti all over the floor. But still, this Joey showed he meant business like Joe Pesci in Casino. Number 1. Brown Bear the Alaskan brown bear is the second largest kind of brown bear in the world, and one of these giants rolled up and sat right down next to photographer Drew Hamilton as he photographed some other brown bears who were fishing down the river. Seeming to forget which species he belonged to for just a moment, it kind of felt like the bear was going to crack open a beer and lean over to Drew and say, how about them bears, buddy? Maybe he was going to take a few nice shots himself until he remembered that he is in fact a bear and probably doesn't know how to operate a camera. So he decides 
managed to make his way casually on, leaving his new human friend to his photography, while he heads down to join the other bears fishing below. Not only did Drew get some fantastic footage, he also got to head home later that day happy in the knowledge that he was not eaten by a bear when it would have been pretty easy to have been eaten by a bear. Have you ever taken any crazy animal photography? What's your favorite animal on our list? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.